We head south now to Indonesia where President Joko Widodo has unveiled his new cabinet for a second term. The Indonesia leader recruited politicians from across the aisle as well as the private sector. The most high profile of which is ride-hailing firm Gojek's co-founder, Mr Nadim Makarim. Amid global economic uncertainty, Mr Widodo said in his speech that his selection was a forward cabinet and that going forward his team will focus on human development, job creation and boosting opportunities for SMEs. So joining me now via Skype is Straits Times regional correspondent Alina Ashad. Hey Alina. Hello. Hey Alina, so you know, give us a brief summary of uh, who's who in the new cabinet. Uh, from what we can see, uh, the cabinet is made up of a mix of politicians as well as professionals. Uh, mm. Some are old hands, uh, like experienced uh, first term ministers, uh, like finance minister Dr. Sri Mulyani Indrawati. And uh, there are some fresh faces uh, from the private sector, uh, like Nadim Makarim, uh, the co-founder of Gojek. Uh, the cabinet also includes members of uh, political parties in Jokowi's ruling coalition, uh, as well as opposition political figures like uh, Mr. Prabowo Subianto. Um, analysts have called it a cabinet compromis or a cabinet of compromise where uh, President Jokowi cannot offer seats only to professionals, but also has to accommodate uh, political parties in exchange for their political support. Uh, mm -hmm. One analyst has likened it to Gado Gado cabinet, you know, the <laughs> local palette a dish. Yeah. Uh, where you throw all the vegetables into a bowl. Yeah, probably uh, that's probably quite accurate uh, description of the cabinet now. Now, uh, Alina, you know, you mentioned uh, Mr. Nadim Makarim, of course, the uh, co-founder of Gojek. Um, why select him? Okay, um, Gojek is big in Indonesia. It is Indonesia's first unicorn startup. Uh, in Indonesia, uh, Gojek provides not only car and motorcycle rides, but also a slew of services uh, from food delivery uh, to even makeup services. Uh, Mr. Nadi Makarim will become the new education and culture minister. Uh, that is a suitable post for him. Uh, and President Jokowi has made it his priority in the next five years to upgrade vocational skills of the country's young workers. You see, uh, many graduates in Indonesia are unemployed because uh, they lack uh, industry skills. Uh, there is like a mismatch in what is being taught at schools and what the industry needs. Uh, there is also a lack of equipment and machines as well as poorly trained teachers. So here is where Mr. Nadim can lend his expertise. Mm. Uh, he's able to identify service gaps and uh, provide solutions. Uh, and what is admirable is he's able to change the mindsets of people uh, used to doing things the traditional way uh, to embrace technology and use it uh, to better their lives. Right. So Alina, you know, uh, we talk a lot about uh, Indonesia, but what does this actually mean uh, for Singapore? Ah, okay. Uh, it is good news for Singapore. Uh, Singapore and Indonesia enjoy very good bilateral relations. Uh, in fact, uh, Mr. Jokowi was in Singapore early this month for the annual leaders retreat and it was a good uh, productive meeting. Uh, Singapore is Indonesia's largest foreign investor uh, with bilateral trade reaching $65 billion uh, last year. And Mr. Jokowi's re-election and his government's focus on economy uh, signal policy continuity for ongoing projects uh, between the two countries. Uh, it also means uh, deeper cooperation in right. various sectors, uh, you know, such as uh, human resource development, uh, digital economy, tourism, and investment parks. All these are sectors that Indonesia uh, want to focus on in the next five years, which uh, Singapore mm. wants to support. Uh, so I suppose Singaporeans can continue to visit Indonesia and enjoy eating some gado-gado. <laughs> I see. Thanks, uh, thanks, Alina. You know, for uh, coming onto our show, and uh, of course, if you'd like to read the full story as well as keep up with all the latest developments in Indonesia, you can always head on down to our website. It's straightstimes.com.